I'm Sean Kantayashi, and this is a different video for my channel, but I am bringing you along with me on my vacation to the Condado Vanderbilt in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So in this video, I'm going to show you all around the Condado Hotel, give you a tour, and also share my gratitude for Jim for taking care of my beloved fur babies back at home while I get to be on a very special vacation. Welcome to the Gondola Vanderbilt. Good morning. I am so excited to be here. Woohoo! Yes, I'm on vacation in Puerto Rico. Yay! As you walk into the lobby of this hotel, this is how you are greeted. And the color here is just fabulous. The color is a orangey, creamy, what would you call this? A salmon? coral color looking up and then looking straight through there are many restaurants here in this hotel but you look right into this one and right out at the water as you come into the main entrance of the hotel this is the front door entrance into our suite immediately to the right is a bedroom two big beds, nice place to be. There's a powder room, bathroom here. And then we come right into the main part of the suite. Good morning, sunshine. This is the view from one of the balconies in our hotel suite. And you can watch the sun rise from here. So beautiful. And this is the view from the second balcony in our suite. And there's that view of the sunrise again. So yes, we have a corner suite in this hotel. And this is what it looks like as you look straight down from our room. You can see pool areas. Last night we ate in the restaurant that's attached to this. You can literally be laying in water, watching the waves, just beautiful. You can also walk down this to get to a beach that is quite lovely as well. But there it is, the sun is poking out above now, so we're starting to just see the sun. You get to enjoy the sunrise with me this morning. It's very early in the morning here, and I wanted to show you what the morning sun looks like in the sweet part of our hotel so that you can just get a feel. This is my bedroom right here. And then the other bedroom is off of uh, the front door entrance to the suite. So we have a kitchenette. We have a lovely place for us to eat a desk. Lots of views of water and ocean and the feeling of being in the Condado Beach area here in Puerto Rico. Here's this view a few hours after the sun has come up. And I will tell you that the view never gets old. <laughs> I could enjoy this view all the time. Look at that gorgeous waves. It's still early in the morning here. Condado Beach area. 
in Puerto Rico and it is so warm and just the temperature is delightful to be out in with a pair of shorts, t-shirt, bathing suit, any of that. Sky is gorgeous. Here I am on the ground level looking out. Same view that I showed you earlier today and our hotel room is right up there at the top so this is what it looks like when you're down on this lower ground level and here's another view looking out don't you just love the sound of waves I'm knowing that Jim is at home taking care of all my little fur babies so that I can thoroughly enjoy this experience. This is the ground floor level looking out towards the city from our hotel. And there is our room up there. So the view I showed you earlier looking out was looking in essence down at this area and here's how you get into the Condado Vanderbilt from the beach area that we're on now. This is the spot that I found where I really like to eat my breakfast in the mornings while here. And you can tell I definitely ate my scrambled eggs. Yummy. This is also a very nice way to have breakfast. During each of my meals, I'll send Jim a photograph of what I'm eating and he sends me a photograph of what he's feeding the dogs. Here you go. This is their breakfast this morning. This leads to a very special spot, the spa. And oh my goodness, they have such a lovely spa. I'll tell you that Jim is creating a spa-like experience for Godiva today back at home, but more about that shortly. I wish you could smell, oh my goodness, the aroma in here is so magnificent. Throughout the hotel, you'll find these wonderful little boutique kinds of shops that pop up along the way. And oh, this one is just one of my favorites. The spa has amazing services too, which I am uh, grateful for. You can go up this elevator and get to their gym and workout facility. This is definitely worth the stop at the spa and enjoy the fitness center too. Artworks of all types throughout the hotel. Sometimes it feels like I'm walking through a museum here. And one of those things that you just can't have enough of, I think, in most hotels are bathrooms. All of theirs are beautiful, and each one seems to have a different theme with the artwork inside. Since no one's in here at the moment, I'll show you this bathroom. Uh, just again, because each time I go in and I look at the artwork in different uh, areas here, I'm so impressed with what they have done. This bathroom has a very clear theme. Just like the juxtaposition between the new contemporary and the old world feeling that you see right here, there's a surprise in this video as well. Keep watching, it's coming. I've needed to have several meetings while I've been here and this executive lounge is their business center. 
and it is the perfect spot for the Zoom meetings that I need to do, have needed to do with my other work. And so I've come and just sat down in here. It's been quiet every time, but lovely spaces, little private office areas that you can use. Just beautiful. In the evenings, we've come in here and brought our own cards to sit at these tables and play some of our favorite card games. It's in the morning early now, so you don't see the lively what's going on here. But uh, in the evenings, this is quite fun. And I have to laugh at this. <laughs> My sister, being who she is, decided to stand next to this statue and have a portrait of herself taken. But um, I, I, I won't go into details about what she was doing, but you can probably imagine it. And uh, just very, very funny to me. Again, it's another example though of all this, what I would think of as like museum spots throughout the hotel. This is their 1919 restaurant, which is very, very highly rated, but I'm taking you to my favorite restaurant in Puerto Rico in my next video. Little curated collections whenever you walk down the hall. Little statues. Very artistic. Now we can see the beach. And fortunately, this Condado Vanderbilt has all kinds of ways that you can enjoy the palm trees and the amazing weather. So right up against the beach with rolling, crashing waves or at the pool next to the restaurant and bar. A nice little lunch, looking out at the beach. Some guacamole, some sauteed shrimp, and beautiful beach. And it looks like Jim is doing such a great job. I am so happy that he sends me these kinds of photos of what he and our little girls are up to while I am getting lots of vitamin D. The Condotta Vanderbilt Hotel has beautiful artwork all throughout the hotel. This is one of my favorite pieces of artwork in the hotel. I love the texture. I really enjoy oil painting that has this kind of texture in it. Here's a view of looking down the hall. You can see this beautiful terracotta salmon color. And regularly throughout the hotel, there are little courtyard kinds of areas, little garden areas that you can, I'm sure, enjoy, have a party, go sit out on. This one is actually uh, close, I think, to the entrance of the hotel. So I think the entrance is just right around that way. You get a feel for this here. Part of the hotel has a very old world charm to it. And then the newer part is very modern, as you can see here in this architectural design. So there's where the juxtaposition, the transition occurs right there as you're coming through this part of the hotel. And this restaurant, Tacos and Tequila, has lots of yummy things on their menu. Here's a daytime view of that hot tub 
which has been very enjoyable to relax in in the evenings before going to sleep. So here's, again, a different perspective on when we're looking down from way up there onto this area. Here's what it's like. It's early in the morning here right now, and so you don't see a lot of people out here enjoying the hot tub at the moment, but I am sure later this evening, uh, there will be lots of folks out here. So just walking to breakfast. I love these chairs that are in the water and you just always hear the sound of waves from in our room or when we're eating breakfast. That beautiful sound of ocean waves is always present and so relaxing. You know how in your hotel room sometimes there will be magazines for perusing? This one, Preferred Travel. Of course, I love it. Savor life's simple pleasures. And what do we see on the cover? Of course, a dog. And on page 88 in this magazine is an article about the preferred life and being able to travel with your dogs. The article titled Travel Tales. Oh, how cute. And all about the joys of bringing your fur baby pets on. There's so many hotels now that allow puppies, dogs to come along on the adventure. And some of these hotels even go above and beyond by offering the dogs their own little bed with their names on them and special meals. Having very well-trained dogs like these makes all the difference when you want to bring your puppies along on vacation. And of course, the Condado Vanderbilt Hotel, where I am staying, has a beautiful ad in this particular magazine. This morning, back at home, Jim is planning to breed Godiva to Truffles. And oh my goodness, I miss being there to be a part of it. And I'm sitting out on this patio, enjoying the sound and the sights of this amazing location that I'm in. But I am really missing my little puppies. Well, Truffles is pretty exhausted here. He's been trying. And Godiva keeps on doing the little flirty dance. I just learned that Jim did his best to get Truffles and Godiva to do the thing, but they didn't. So Truffles, although he was interested, just wasn't uh, quite able to tie with Godiva. So we are doing plan B today, and Jim is now breeding Toffee Maui, who is the father of Sienna and Sierra, So Godiva and Maui, I believe, are going to make some very beautiful puppies for us. And here's what their traits look like. So this is a nice combination. 12% of the puppies could be black and silver. And I think it's 24, 25% of the puppies could be the color of Godiva or the color of truffles. So this brown with tan points, you can see here, we've got brown with tan points and then we've got brown with a little bit of minor white. And then the rest of the puppies, 
a very large percentage of them will be recessive red. And they could either be recessive red with a black nose or recessive red with a brown nose. So here's what that looks like in the breeding results from our beloved little Toffee Maui to Godiva. Good job, Jim. Thank you so much for breeding. I will share more about that breeding in my next video when I take you along with me into Old San Juan and show you my favorite restaurant.